hello welcome aboard subscribers friends new viewers share likes all that good stuff hello today hang on just gotta check all good or more cool so today you join on recycling cardboard how fun very energetic work going around as you're seeing pick up the sack empty the sack return the sack move on nothing uh ooh, truly inspirational or or inspiring but so far crucial words at this point less stressful than black bins but Unlike the black bins which might be presented to curb, I have to collect all these. Come on. So today is the 1st of February 2022. It is 10 to 10 in the morning on a Tuesday, day one of the week. Check. Yep, cool. Um, yeah, oh, Christ. This is okay. So, whoop. Hmm, this might not all fit in. Let's give it a go. Come on. Oh. Come on. There we go. Right, okay. Hmm. We'll figure it out. So, cardboard. Uh, it's my first day doing cardboard whoop, at this gaff, so. I've been to all the locations with all the tip site and the yard and what have you. However, I imagine today oh, is going to be uh, dictated by volume, not weight. So, you shall see shortly. We've got a uh, 6x2 Alexander Dennis Eagle Elite 6. Uh, not mid lift. This looks okay. That's metal. Cool. All good your end? Cool man. So yeah, six for two mid lift. Uh, standard from memory, I think it said uh, Turberg Omni Decker. But if you're more uh, attuned to your product knowledge, you feel free to correct me in the comments below. So there's the motor. So chumps for today, of course. Um, the area we are covering would ordinarily, ordinarily be covered by two domestic blip bin rounds. However, Again, this should all fit on one load. 21 plate, very new. Um, woo! Yeah, it should all go on one load, hopefully. I've kept a bin on top, that's driver's bin. There's another loader who you haven't seen yet. Who's uh, They both have a pair of bins each. Whew, if you did one bin each all day, good God, you would never get it done. So there is five bins in total on the vehicle. And when the day started off, they were hooked on the back of the uh, lift with the wheels disassembled. So you could stack them like baskets in the supermarket. <laughs> Excuse me. And then you can uh, woo, assemble the axles and bang the wheels on the end. And then boom, you've got five loading receptacles. They're 360s, any smaller, you not worth bothering with. Oh, so, beautiful day today. It is optimistic. Uh, it says 14 degrees on the dashboard. I, I believe it's 12, 11, 12 possibly. Um, We'll dump it about here, because I've got a junction to my left, but it goes much further back. However, I'm not sure where all my other colleagues are, so I'm not gonna cut them off. So I've got some up there, some up there. Look, you can see there's a bin. Uh, oh, fantastic. Brilliant. There we go. Um, yeah, bin unattended. So I'll get that in a second. So, yeah, I'll quickly go down here. So that's the other loader. They're both jolly hard workers so far. 
Um, this is, a, say, a lot more energetic in black beans. Black beans, you're jogging between houses, you're pairing them up, so forth. This stuff, good lord, I say, it's 1st of February, winter. Jumper and snood have come off. I am hot in this fella. Morning. All good? So, that was a waste of a good morning, but that's quite common a place of the uh, people around here. Like, we're not even faces, we're an inconvenience, these people. You say, oh, oh. cool dude. Yeah, dude. Cool, Every cool. Little that it does. All good up there? So I'll do a bit of a walk now. We'll grab the pavement. Here we go. No point in making it unduly difficult over the gravel if possible. I've tipped the vehicle on the vehicle. Yeah, been on one axle because it's, it's a noisy boy, and I imagine it's not coming through great on your headphones or speakers. So I picked the bin. I'm not even gonna bother checking it. Just chuck it in. Yep. Seems pretty legit. So briefly, so folded cardboard box. Yeah, man. Folded cardboard boxes, cereal packets, cardboard food packaging sleeves, uh, toilet or kitchen roll tubes, paper-based egg boxes, brown paper, and brown envelopes. Uh, much, uh, the previous uh, episode eight is it? Eight, seven, eight. The one that has like uh, it's an hour and fifteen minutes long. Paper and cards. So this vehicle is a cardboard alone. Paper and plastic I meant for the previous video. So auto, we'll keep her up. So just give it a quick jab. Stay there you. Do the blade. Which I'll show the hopper because you've probably haven't seen this in other videos. It's actually remarkably clean, but so it should be. So hydraulics and it scoops it over a little shelf and as each successive uh, scoop drags more and more, you're compressing bang, 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 bang. That's it, so press the button. It's all automatic, don't need to sod about and hold it. Press it once. Pretty straightforward, no? So, 21 plate vehicle, woo -wee! We have uh, anti-skid response, lane departure, uh, accident evasion, brake goes up, beep, 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 beep. Seatbelt. Yeah, noob, someone commented on the previous video. Uh, decent stereo with Bluetooth hands-free, so you can do your uh, boom tunes wirelessly. So, let's have a look-see, yep, cool. Might have to grab a bit of this curb on account of this guy parking well within 10 meters of junction. Super duper, oh, very helpful, thank you. Do you know what I mean? Got no chance of I. Mm. So that, tip, 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 tap, tap. Some people tap the back of their head, some people tap their shoulders, that indicates, please reverse in there. Uh, roll forward a bit more so I can, yep, good. Get the swing on this junction. Also, I'll quickly, uh, woohoo! Get this fellow. Brilliant. There we go. Bloody hell. They go for a lot of fortnight. Look at all that. Raced. Hello. So again, hold her up. So a slightly more modern sack. Conveys broadly the same, same sort of information earlier. Although the only addition this time is a, uh, whoa. Wrapping paper, but no foil paper. Can't be recycled. If in doubt, throw it out. I would rather, ooh, if you was uncertain about recycling your uh, waste in your household that you just chucked it in a black bin, rather than contaminating the recycling stream, because it's not just, oh, a sack or a lorry. If that's on a conveyor belt or in some processing plant, if enough people go, oh, I don't know, and contaminate it, that is a lot of product that will then have to go landfill or be extra clean. Basically, by contaminating the recycling stream, it spoils it, ruins it, scrap, get rid of it, it now can't be used, so it may as well chucked it in the bin in the first place. So if in doubt, throw it out. Where possible, please do recycle. We do have to live on this planet, and it's not just you and I now, it's the people in 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 years from now that are gonna 
reap the seeds that we have sown. I'm not going to try and tell you how to live your lives, but if your local authority, council, uh, housing association, that's the word I was looking for, offers recycling, please use it. It takes but a few seconds of your time. You'll find it's less stressful than struggling to put all that stuff in your bins. And you'll be cutting your waste to landfill, so everyone benefits. So gently, gently, got a tree, got a taxi. I, I, I don't see how this is profitable working as a tax driver in London. If you're a tax driver, please do chime in. How living 30 odd miles away from the uh, city in which you work is profitable. I, I don't understand the maths. Because uh, often like train stations or main cab fare ranks, they're pretty busy and they're all parked up on their phones or tablets or whatever, waiting for customers. You're the fifth taxi back, you might feasibly have to wait, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, an hour before work. What if that's only a short ride? I don't see how that's profitable each day, but hey, don't, don't let my ignorance blind you. If you want to chime in and tell me that I'm wrong and it's the most profitable thing you've ever done, you love it. And, I'm not disparaging the fact that people want to do it, the knowledge and all that kind of thing, but I don't see the maths. I don't, uh, I don't see it myself, because surely the commuting, your vehicle is your tool, your work fit, your workpiece. Much like the craftsman has his saw, an electrician has a uh, strippers. So, soldering iron as well. So how is it that driving 30 miles each way, Jay, in an old diesel taxi, automatic gearbox, I think they're, don't they use Nissan or Toyota diesels? It's like the new ones, isn't it? Like 2.4 diesel, two litre diesels. And the old Nissan 2.7s, like in the Toranos and all that kind of thing. I don't imagine they're particularly frugal. 30, 35 MPG on a run maybe. All right, he's done all the bins. We'll carry that box for him. Yeah, dude. All good? Cool, cool, cool. Sharing is caring. Got to help each other. Yeah, this right now is a lot more active than uh, black beans. Granted, I'm not uh, busting a massive sweat. But on black beans, when you've got a decent crew, the driver doesn't have to get out of that often. Whereas this, whee! Sorry, old man, I didn't do the buttons for you. Do you want to put yours on? Yours on? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put on one. Let, let, let's get down first. Sure thing. So team, team, team. It's important. We all got the shared objective of wanting to get home. Oh, so we'll sort mate you out. So hang a swing. Woo wee. Bit more, bit more, bit more. So mirror, camera, camera neutral. Um, yeah, woohoo! Mm. So to those of you that are uh, <laughs> using this as some means of... Um, you're, you're, doing, you're undergoing HGV training and you're watching these as a uh, insight into what the job's like. Thank you, I appreciate that. But please don't view this as necessarily a tutorial. I merely film what I do, no editing, no script, no flim flam, no cringe-worthy thumbnails, I just drive about, document what I see. You all right? Very well, how are you doing? Yeah, good. Cool, dude. Reverse down or drive the next bit? Um, Parking's a bit naughty around there from memory. Yeah, um, it's a drive, but Whoa. we've got um, some round the backs again. There's a, there's a kiddie park in there, there's yeah. a square yeah. car park? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Is he joining us? No. No, he's hit us. The yeah, he's gonna... Double tap as a courtesy. Yeah. <laughs> That's me talking to the viewers and yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah, left here? Yes. Oh. Bit more, bit more. Just hang the swing. I'll start. <clears throat> here. There might be some round here on the left, Daniel, if you want to check them out. I can do that. Now, granted, he's just used my given name. Unfortunate. Eh, whatever. Nothing isn't in the public domain anyway, if you look hard enough for most people. 
channel name, P4H91. Pounds for hounds. When I used to work on the buses and I did all the overtime that my body could uh, suffer. People in canteen, Dan, why'd you do so much for it? Jesus, like, pounds for hounds. This was prior to me adopting my dog, King the Ground. Lovely boy that he is. And I was doing all that work to uh, save up for him, to get him things. So P for H, pounds for hounds. Ooh -wee. Nice, yummy. Is he good? Cool. Where shall I go? Leave the motor there though. Leave that there. Cool. Although I may be a captain of this ship, if you will, I've got a team who I've got a. Uh, whoa. Brilliant. What for him or in there? Yep. No problem. I'll just quickly put this mess away. So look, two sacks, full bin. Hence why they need two bins each. Uh, yes, captain of ship. Boaty McBoatface. The Red October. The Crimson Tide. So I ask where they want to go because they're the ones that have got to suffer with what I'm doing. If I put it in the wrong place or make them work unduly hard, that's my fault. Uh, I reckon nose in, reverse, reverse. Much what I said to mate you a few minutes ago. Parking ain't great round here. I've done black bins here previously, a long while ago. And I was blessed. And I thanked my stars that this isn't my regular route because I'd, I'd get angry. I'd deal with this kind of nonsense every day. And this again, this is quite blessed. Just for camera purposes, it is in this condition when I pulled up. Good Lord. They had a bit of a tickle, we say. Yeah, it was like that when I got here. Um, yeah, so my job. Oh, copyright uh, is well the immediate task is collection of waste recyclables but my primary concern is crew safety I don't care a jot if this day's work don't get done if it means no one gets hurt because if I've got to rush around and people get hurt no bin I've said this earlier in videos I've said it in responses to people's comments and I've said it in videos verbatim no bin is worth that risk to safety it's a bin None of us are irreplace, uh, not irreplace. Hang on. We're all quite expendable. That's a better way of putting it. There's many people that have done this before me and there'll be many people after me. So I'm not going to put people underneath the wheels, smash motors up or hurt people for a bin, man. If we can't complete it in the time allocated, then clearly there's an issue. Be it overscheduling, i.e. ambitious with what they're giving us, or... Uh, we're sodding about. That is certainly not the case. We are Billy Goes. Uh, a bit more forwards, I'd say, about here. Yeah, we are going at it. Granted, I'm a bit woo right now, sodding around, cruising, chatting, waffling. However, neutral, there we go. Um, I'll talk to you people, you viewers. But no, safety is paramount, man. It's just bins, it's just a bin. Yeah, nice and clean again. It's not general waste, that's why it's not mucky. Cardboard. That's just dry cubes. So walk in a bit. Again, the sack goes up, it goes down. Give it a shake or two. Come on. There we go. So I fear I'm treading old ground here. On account of that this is I was like, this will be episode 10 now uh, do forgive me if I do talk about stuff that I've already mentioned but, um, yeah, so it's entirely unscripted it's off the cuff spontaneous there we are. oh well, that was worth putting out wasn't it I'll do this on and I roll forwards and it's just three there, isn't it? Just three. Oh. Plenty going on in here, so once I've got this sorted, a bit forward from 80, handbrake neutral, still coming on the dashboard. There we go. Ooh, good. 
Do 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 Thank you guys up. Woo! Oh heavens. Certainly. Oh, so he looks okay, so. Uh, yeah, what a decent amount to be getting on with. Yeah, this already this morning. It's not strenuous, it's not back breaking. But it ain't no relaxed ride either. I'll oh, correct that. Yeah, so this ain't no jolly boys out in. Or girls. 2022, equal rights. Yeah, so it's uh, woohoo! Not allowed to sort about. I don't know what I keep saying woohoo for. I've got it stuck in my head now. And I can't turn it off. Got some sort of tick. Um. Come on. There we go. Crush it down a bit. So I bring it back. Ah, oh, bless your soul. Ain't you a nice fella? That's been done. That's been done. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Super duper. So yeah, this is what bins is like. Um, yeah, I'll say in the three hours we've been loading now. Oh, this is a lot better than black bins. Much more relaxed. But I'll say that's first impressions. This one. Jesus, thank you, friend. Thank you. See, so hot top, tell me, frenetic, constant. Much work to do. So that's all been done by the looks of it, so as fellow said earlier, reversing left, so dump it here. Oh, that's what you want. I'll walk a bit up anyway, though. I'm not going to sit here twiddling my thumbs. I sat there stop recording and editing a fade out just so I can eat some tuck or sit on my bottom yeah see I mean, it's constant always something happening whereas black bins if there's not a bin on the vehicle dead time again like that when I pulled up not my fault yeah, as I say, there's people can't be trusted. They're all deceitful, lying snakes. They're living smooth, they're talking. Lions here. So here's is nearly full. Do you want to take my empty one? I'll take these. You have a bang on that, my man. So much what I said, um, something should always be happening. Granted now all three of us in a turn in, but if we're not loading, someone's collecting, someone's not collecting, we're reversing, something should always be happening. Um, I could have brought it up here, but mate, he insisted on leaving it down here. I, I had no issue reversing, not a problem. But um, yeah. drag their heels. You couldn't be lazy and do this job. Incompatible. One in. So, two, two bin lift, four, five bins. One will have to go in the hopper. I'll look away at this point. We'll see the outcome. I don't want to see the yeah how they do it. I know how they do it. Um, don't get in trouble. So one bin goes the hopper. Turn off the uh, compactor, and then two bins. One on, one back to front. So that's it going in now. So bins in the motor. Compactor won't operate though. We don't want to crush it. We need it. And then one in. Razor up. Boom. So the uh, lift is holding the bottom bin up. Second bin is being held, rammed up against the um, anti-falling bar. I'm not sure what the word is, retaining bar. 
So a quick slurp before we go. Half hour. Nice. I walked to Asda's then. Oh, do you want to get out here and walk meet us at the top? Oh no, you can cut through, can't you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So pull our tray at the top, Daniel. Yes. And then we'll put it on break. Half hour, is that all right? If you don't mind, sir. Of course, why not? My driver Chris just texted me. It's oh, yeah? Who have you got driving? Well, it's usually like you know, on top of the things, so I don't think it's asking you to help. Uh, Isn't it, Ian? Yes. Okay. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> uh, maybe hey. Turn around and pull back at the Yeah, uh, let's have a look, have a look, have a look. Oh, yeah, reverse it back. Reverse Dump it outside someone's house, though, not great. Well, I'll but... do, I'll have me quarter of an hour and then I'm going to carry on round here. Only if you want to, you're under no yeah. pressure from me to do such no, a thing. No, 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 I do. Me and Chris usually do. Chris will be quite the dust. So, it all helps. Yeah, man. All right, fellas, what can I get you from uh, Asdis? Quite oh, fine, thank, thank you. you. Come on, like, no, you are I bring, I bring Pat lunch. Do you want some, like, drinks, anything? Got, I've got to drink. Can I, can I offer you some? I have plenty to drink, thank you. Yeah? Honest, thank you for your okay. kind offer. Uh, I've got two here. Okay, yeah. Right. I've got lamb. Right, so we got, uh, we got 10, 20 past 10, so half hour until Yeah. Yeah, yeah. why not? Sure it's going to be enough for the day's work? Sorry? Sure it's going to be enough for the day's work we've got ahead of us? Yeah. Alright, no problem. Oh, and that, oh, turn that off. Nah, I got all that. Thank you, though. So in that case, I bid you adieu. This is a short intermission. Uh, we'll resume after break and more fun and japes await us. See you very shortly. Hello again. <clears throat> Resumption of activities now. So a short break was had by all. And now the loaders have started uh, walking down the street, picking up stuff, getting it ready. Cool, all right, let's go. So beacons on, dip beams on, lots of sacks on the road, so there's me mate. Hello. So 
to turn the auto off. Don't want to get picked up by one of these. I've seen that happen. Auto back on. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. I've seen people get too close to the back of them lorries before and get picked up by them. Either oh, grabs your clothing, or if you're very unfortunate, actually lifts you off the ground. Bang! Punch that emergency stop hard. Right, the reverse he's referring to is this one. Access not stunning, but nothing we can't deal with. So I'll grab both pavements. See if that car weren't illegally parked, 10 meters of junction, yadda yadda, highway code, boring, boring. But yeah, get it in there. So, near side corner, close, offside. So get it, right, okay. So overshoot it, and you've got more room to work with when you're working backwards. So, handbrake neutral, because he wants to um, put the bin on. So we're slightly, about halfway up that Fiesta. We'll hang it wide, wrap the lock on. Might be a forward shunt, but I reckon we, feasibly do it in one. I'm conscious of the house, the car, this lamppost, this car, so we're going. Got the go-ahead from him that he's done his bit, so reversing on the camera. We've now cleared the car. You can tell the rear axle's clear. So I put the lock on, roll it on slowly. There's no rush, no pressure. There never is. So near side mirror, offside, clear of their garden. Got the camera as well. We're very fortunate. Offside mirror, watching this house. I've got full lock on still. Look, you can see that arm it's kind of in line with the rear wheels. So when you watch this offside mirror, no problem. Roll the lock off. So I know the colleague is in here somewhere, so we'll go gently, gently. Got a very loud stand, well clear, vehicle reversing, buzzer, beeper. And stand behind one of these vehicles. It's quite a loud uh, announcement. I might be doing this all my own. He might be in here already, but we'll see. So a bit right lock, avoiding this curb, avoiding the front end of that motor. Bit more lock, nothing, all good, good. So given this type of job bro, you spend more time going backwards than you do forwards. So you're reversing. If it isn't already on point, you'll very soon learn how to do it more succinctly. So, so yeah, he's over there. This stuff looks okay, so he must. Mm -hmm. I'll do all these bits then. I'll lower his bin lift as well. There we go. Brilliant. Yeah, this is going okay. So we had a short break. Um, much earlier than I normally do. I normally work right up to work time directive. So we'll be doing like, because this is recycling, we start at 7 a.m. Put taco in at 10 to 7. So I'd have had a break at like half 12, quarter to one, but they wanted it now. I was like, okay. You want? Come on. There we go. It's a lot, well, it's a lot of paper in there. Hey, anyway, what, what have we been buying? Monday swimming, blah, blah, boring. Uh, might get with this in, I reckon this might be a shuttle run. Forward. Audio fast food, eh? Let's try and crush it in a bit. <clears throat> so afford yourself some space. If you leave it a full puffed out size, Jesus, you need to empty the bin every house. Come on, bit more, bit more. Ratty old thing. There we go. This one as well. For some reason they've got three. Nope. See, I commend recycling, cool, very good, thank you, but I'd rather two full sacks than three half-filled ones. I've now got to waste more time emptying the bloody things. This looks like a big square. See what I mean? So you've got that stuff loose, but for some reason you bothered to put this in a sack. What's the point? Got some courteous like that. Try and weigh them down so they don't blow away. You probably hear it on your headphone speakers that it's a bit blowy out today. Let's go.
Sorry, old man. Are you walking or are you bugging them on? Hey. You're walking? I'm walking, yeah. Thanks, Thanks very much. You're very welcome. Might have misunderstood the question. Oh no, he is emptying and he intends to continue walking. The offer was there. So, <clears throat> exit in. So I hold the right curb. About no, six inches, seven inches, six to eight inches there, like that. So clear, clear, clear. Checkmate is good, so slight right lock, small dog. So a bit of left lock, got him out the pavement. The rear end is cleared. She's well, she's well away. Cool. I imagine he's done that. So press on. So this is what I was saying about earlier on recycling. Not more efficient than black bins, where someone is always getting waste ready. Whereas black bins, if the truck's not there, nothing's happening. So that whole drag down, done. Don't need to go down there now. Yes, we can start from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 ma'am. Yeah. Feel free, please. Turn the auto on. Sack, 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 sack. Auto on. Came from. That. That's been done already. Good. Auto is back on. Bean goes up. Up. No bang in. Empty in. We'll quickly interrupt it. Get it back to height. Very good. No cars. No cars. I'm gonna die. Not immediately, anyway. We're all gonna die at some point. left Sorry? reverse left yeah. Again, I know the area I live not far from here but it's their work how do they want it done so the cars bumpy bumpy so get near the curb shouldn't need to grab this one but we'll certainly need to grab that one so you see near the curb so near side don't mount the person's garden but pavement why not so left lock Watching the rear and the mid lift axle, offside, near side, the road side is cut is uh, tucked to the left corner, which is decent, plenty of access. Sometimes they're on the corners themselves. So over this hump, up, and then back down. Maintain a bit of left lock, constantly checking the near side mirror and the offside. Near side, offside. No one's walked me on the camera. No one's walked me on the video. I'm checking the camera. That's what I meant to say. I'm on the tree. There you go, a bit of throttle. And I'd say about here. So there's a circumference of the vehicle I can walk around, a perimeter. Plenty of space. But I can still get work done. So I reckon, do, 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 do. will make you join me in here. Like these first, then here, or there, or there. It's, it's a mess, Jesus. We'll get something in progress at least. So, uh, ooh, I don't know what to say. Don't have to pepper all any silence with words, but I suppose it's partly why you're watching, isn't it? The commentary. Um, I don't know. Questions? Feel free to ask them. I, myself, and other viewers, maybe of any insights, can uh, contribute some sort of answers. This I'm probably going to fill it right up. Now we're looking. worth working much further I'd say I've got four or five candidates it's not worth struggling with whilst this is going up on auto press I should keep lowering I'll quickly do this fella so compactors working the bins come down see boom something should always be happening here we go I'll roll it up to walk back anyway because I'm polite too polite it's a weakness of mine Gives a chance, girl. Jesus. But she don't know what I'm doing. She just sees that I ain't done hers. So, 
one for that gaff. Opposite, alleyways, I don't know. I can only pick up what I can see. I'm certainly not seeking this stuff out. It's not immediately obvious or visible. It should not be getting done. would not have got all this on had I uh, left it full from that first two I did. So yeah, this is the job. Um, if you've been approached by agency or you think about doing it, give it a try. Well, as long as you come home with all the limbs that you started the day off with, if you don't like it, you might get off try something else. Whee! <laughs> Where's that come from? Probably over there. I'll tuck it in a bin handle. I'm not a detective. I'm not going to sod about and try and find out who that is. So there should be a couple here maybe, and then one, two at the top of the street. Cool. Um, yeah, give the job a go. If, you're, if you've thought about trying to do it, you've been offered the work, well, hey, give it a try. Beats being stuck at home all day. Um, actually, no, that's, that's a lie. Um, come on, girl. Come on. Get it. Yeah, um, it's straightforward. However, the rewards are proportionate. Oh yeah, for HGV work. Oh, we we'll have to come back for this one. The pay ain't too great, but it is. Okay, now really. Oh bloody hell! See what I mean? How's this worth putting out? Um, yeah, so 40, uh, 37 hours a week, X amount of pounds per hour, X amount of pounds I take home. Uh, it's not great. We'll empty this, we'll have to do a shuttle run now. Yeah, I only got one bin, and I? Yes, uh, pay is not stunning, but home every night, straightforward enough work, keeps you active. The disadvantage is, oh, numerous. Um, all weathers, extremely hot, very cold, wet, windy, snow, grip, whatever, you're emptying. No discussion. Um, treated with absolute derision. We are scumbags. Shut up. Oi. Basically, you are dirt. Get out of my way. Shut up. Take my stuff. You will take my stuff. Etc. It's just all the negativity and uh, vitriol that would come with it. No need. You ask for things to happen, not you don't bark orders at people. You wouldn't do it in a restaurant, you wouldn't do it in a shop, so why is it okay to do it to me? Um, when I was growing up, if you don't work hard at school, you'll be stuck in McDonald's or doing bin men. I think that's very uh, <sighs> insulting and demeaning to people to do that. For some people, it's I mean, it is what they can manage. For others, it's a lifestyle choice. Uh, for me, my present state, that's shut. Okay. In my present state, um, it's convenient. So that's close to home, sensible hours. Don't take the work home, we are no emails, no phone calls, no laptops, but it rewards like a job where that happens. Um, not necessarily for the faint art at this job. If you drag your feet and mess around and don't help, you're gonna have a hard old time. Teamwork is key in all things, in any job. Excuse me. But, um, especially in this kind of work, man, because this is, I say, if you're not gonna help your team, you're only hindering them, but you're hindering it's gonna take, the days gonna take longer. There's gonna be a lot of animosity in the vehicle or on the pavement, depending on what job role you're doing. You've gotta help each other. But it's okay. So it's, would, if I was to do my life over, I wouldn't bother with my HGV license, I can tell you that much. Uh, You're right. yes. Super dope, huh? The elderly people bit. Ah, 
come on. Fantastic. Brilliant. <laughs> It'd be funny if it wasn't so stupid. So look at all this mess I've got to pick up now. God, but at least it's not black bin waste where it's pooey nappies and Christ knows what else. So yeah, now I'm on my own again. Um, if I was to do my life over, nah, HGV, I wouldn't have bothered. Oi, oi, Volvo 940. Had two of them. Good cars when they work. And they're not rotten. Yeah, if I was to do my life over, I wouldn't do my HGV. And for all those people that think of doing it and this and ever, oh, it's caused me a lot of stress and heartache for, well, Maybe if I've got a conventional boring office job, 40 years in a cubicle waiting to die, I'm probably in a better place than I am now. There we go. But, um, yeah. So, you're going to sit there? Mug, this geezer sodded us about earlier. I'll reverse back far enough that you can get into a gap. I'm not going up the road for him. More, right? He sat there all the time. I'm clearly doing something. On a jolly boy's day out, as I said earlier in the video. Oh, really? Jesus wept. Christ above. No acknowledgement needed. I've got a lot of swear words in my head, but not for this video. I know there's uh, some young people that watch this, but moron is the uh, simplest denominator I can offer, but I swear like a sailor, well, I've got a filthy mouth and I would have... Oh. <laughs> God almighty, what a moron. So yeah, see, this, this is kind of nonsense I'm dealing with every day. So that's only a minor strife. But I hate GBs. Oh, I'm getting sick of it. Good. Cool. Plum. Got yeah, my two of them over. good cars. They've had both a high pressure and a low pressure turbo. Yeah, high pressure. Good car. So not rap, it won't rip the skin off, but 170 horsepower, not bad. But I suppose because it's a 90s car, it's more of a visceral experience. So you the bumps and the vibrations and the noise and the, the shit. Cool. Well, I'll wait for this man now because he can't bother to wait for me. Can you just fucking wait, man? What a <laughs> <laughs> Words out my mouth. Well, I can't be in control of what other people say, but short along, that's the kind of thing I was thinking of. Um, oh, yeah, it's just every day with this man. It's wearisome. So I'll let Matey walk past first before I even think about entering reverse. He's, oh, he's bending down. See, what he always got to check, check, check again. Reverse. That's not frustration to him, but this is what I impress upon people, that you must check your mirrors constantly in any driving position say like um motorcycle a tug in a yard a car on a road check your mirrors man they are vital portals to the world around you so look, it's a mess in the road for some reason there's poorly parked cars it's just oh, and of course yeah so, <laughs> so a bit forward. I'm gonna have to move this mess out of the way. Cause I need the lock. To get the lock, I'm gonna have to run over this mess. I don't know what the hell's going on here? Well, it is cardboard, so I'm gonna have to come out. Yes, it's a plastic bag, but I've asked about that already. So, get out and look. So there is enough space, but I've got to do a shunt. And uh, roll forwards a bit make it past these two vehicles. So, so, go forward a bit. You can always go a bit more forward. Not, you can't always, what I mean is, if you can go forward, it affords you more room to do manoeuvres. So a bit of right lock to get past the Corsa. Wrap the left lock on. So Fiesta's in the mirror, in the camera. I've cleared it, but I'm still being cautious. You never know. See, just a, a few seconds of manoeuvring makes it a lot easier. 
da, 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 da. I would say about here, because I'm not seeing many behind me, but I'm sure there's one or two. Yeah, there's one now. Around us. So I try and leave it in an even position whereby everyone, i.e. loaders and I, can uh, access the rear collection vehicle and load her up. So yeah, HGVs, would I do it again? I, I passed 10 years ago. Bloody hell, that's so, that long ago. 10 years ago I passed my class two, self-funded, 1200 quid. CPC, initial CPC and medical and all that was another ooh, three, 400 quid. So we're talking about 16, 1800 quid on the road. Um, I've done a lot of stuff that I don't want to do to keep myself working. Because with a HGV, there's never an excuse to be out of work. There's always stuff to be moved. Um, yeah, I've done various class two rolls. Class one's where the money's at, but I got my class one. I did that in 2019. Another 1,200 quid. Same company in Essex, RSM. Uh, they used to be Basel, now in Rayleigh, Rory. RSM. I don't know what it's an acronym for, but Romeo Sierra Mike, if you want to have a Google. They do buses and forklifts and, uh, I'm not sure about forklifts. They do CPC, they do lots of stuff. Hi, Ab. They might do. But, uh, yeah, so I've got my class one. I did that for a dizzy in two weeks. I did it on night, so I've not driven an articulated lorry since October, no, September 19. No regrets, I'm, I'm glad I got the ticket. So I can use it in coaches or if I ever get a trader on a car. But as a dot day job, I found it very stressful and extremely annoying. Um, so I'm quite competent at driving the vehicle, but I was just losing my rag each night. I was like, nah, man, it's gonna put me in an early grave. And then I spent 700 quid on a high ab certificate. Um, it's somewhere on the A13 in Essex, not far from Basel. I can't remember what the company's called. Oh. What? Oh. We'll leave it up. I don't want it spilling all out the back again. Yeah, um, 700 quid on a high ab. So I'm about two and a half, three thousand quid in for HGV training. It's not worth it, man. It really ain't worth it. But if you want to do your class two, so if you're watching this as some sort of pseudo tutorial instructional how to drive a motor you're very welcome my man bless your soul much. you're very welcome um now if i do my life again i'd have stopped at class two yeah, yeah dude um yeah it's a lot of nonsense this is the only i say this is my fifth time on this rodeo now so i came in 2014 Went on the buses for five years. There we go. Uh, came again, six months. Grew tired, got my class one. Came back again. Right, need to concentrate on this motor. So look, bit of lock, not too much. There we go. So we're gonna have to, might be able to make this swing out. Nope, we won't. So a bit reverse in a straight line. Cause there's no cars right behind me. And then drive on. Lead on McDuff. The name of that Scottish play. Um, yes, came back, did another round for a while, got tired of that, got my high ab. We'll let him load up first. Oh, I'm losing my train of thought here. I got my high ab, then I went Royal Mail, that was awful. Then I did drainage for a while. Um, yeah, this is the... Although it's not necessarily the longest time I've been in a job, I've never returned, there's no other job I've ever returned to except this. Um, all the other jobs, it's been one chance, gone, say for years on end, couple of months, couple of weeks, days in some cases. As I didn't do any videos of it, but the uh, skip loading job I did, four days, that was so dangerous. I was really losing my rag each day. The yard was dangerous. Um, you were personally liable for any damage to property. So if you scratch someone's car, a wall, a gate, a fence, your dollars at fixing it so I, hell no if that was explained to me in an interview i wouldn't have proceeded beyond then i'd have said no thank you and i have said no thank you in interviews before and people tell me like the actual ins and outs of what the job's like not just what it says on indeed and when i find out oh actually it sounds pretty bloody poor yeah hell no i say no because a job interview is a two-way process you know i'm not selling my soul to any old muck it's not about prestige or self-esteem it's my health and my lifestyle Come on, come on. There we go. Nope, that's plastics. That's cardboard. There you go. 
Oh, God. Excuse me, excuse the burps. Too fast for situation. Still too fast. Giddy Lee of Rush. Morning. How you doing? Good man. Squeeze in your fella? Yeah. Indeed. Bends around both ways. So you decide which way you want to do your doodlies. Yes, yeah, so HGV. Um, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it to people. I know there's a massive crisis and oh yeah, you can earn 50, 60 grand a year. Yeah, if you want to sleep in a lay-by all week long, not see your family and do 12, 14, even 15, 16 hour days. That's not for me, thank you. Um, Money's good and all that, but it doesn't solve all your problems. But I appreciate that people's situations dictate that they might have to uh, do all the hours. And again, that suits some people. And if you're one of these people watching, mm, we'll do this end first, seeing as they're up there. Um, yeah, if you're one of these people that I'm referring to, like the class one boys, doing long distance work, up the road, continental, whatever it may be, even supermarket refrigerator work, Chip in, chime in, tell us what you think. I'm sure I just saw a car move behind me. Oh, we're still coming in, we've got stuff to do. Yeah, um, I'm sure I just saw a blue Fiesta move back here. Yeah, told ya. Well, beacons and lights are on. I'm coming in and I ain't stopping. You saw me reversing, you still tried to... KA, sorry, some ghastly little blue car. Yeah, you saw me block coming into the junction, you saw me reverse, it's making a hell of a lot of noise and beacons on, you still try and come down. Nope, not happening, no way. Not put up with that. I'm here to do your waste, your mess. Get the hell out of my way. Fool, try and bully me out of the way. You shitty paperweight car. Some people shouldn't be driving. You know? Much what I've just been talking about. <laughs> so I've just been mentioning all that. Yeah. Hey, you'll you tell me your channel later on once we we'll go to the gym. Of course. Potential subscriber. Like, comment, subscribe, buy my merch. I have no merch. There is no merch that I have to sell. Um, so there's no point in rushing down there because it's only going to cause problems. So I'd say mm, stop at the junction, let them do their thing. I could, let's have a look. Yeah, it's fine. I could reverse it down and dump it on the pavement for the amount of problems it's going to cause. It's not worth it, man. So we'll give them some time. I say, got matey in the road, got cars everywhere. The space that's behind that red box ladder, yeah, you could get two trucks beside each other, but they're gonna be done in a second. Um, I can see matey dragging bins around. So they've been doing stuff anyway. It's not as if they've been uh, messing about. Yeah, look, see that. People are getting in the vehicle now. So we'll let them do their thing. Matey's gonna unload his vehicle in bin anyway. Good thing I waited. So he initially gestured that I should continue going, but I waited because of these. Had I not waited for these, he'd have to huff and puff that down the street. And I can feel the sun on my skin now. It's blimey on the dashboard. Bear in mind, it's a sensor, 17 degrees. In real life, it's probably 12, 13. Because of the sunlight on skin, feels like. It is X, but it feels like Y. Um, so we'll wait for matey. I don't know what the hell's going on. Nor does Eva looks of it. Come on, there we go. Yeah, my way. So they're in a four by two. They do glass and tins. So this is what I mentioned in a previous video where like the side lifts up. Not a, it's not a rear loader. It's a side compact thing, so it goes over the roof. Um, I've heard that's jolly hard work, exhausting, puffy puffy. Not done it yet. I'm willing to give it a go. Might be uh, the subject of a future video maybe who knows um i've asked to be put on recycling now i, I, I say black bins have grated on me too much now i'm fed up with people coming out of the house and being rude and sideways on the floor and shut up hurry up and all that. nah boring recycling already this morning i've not really had to swear much or get angry beyond these videos in that when i've not been filming i've not been getting angry because it's just a better class of work it's just oh, I could suffer this, but they say longer days. Everyone has black bins, but everyone has cardboard, but people do have cardboard. Good Lord that they put some out. And also I say, because it puffs up, takes up space. 
do, 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 do. There we go. So as you can see, look, two free sacks. The bin will nearly be full. Oh, look at that fella. That's a stretchy boy. See what I mean? Boom. I'll come back for that on the return leg. Let's go, let's go. That's why you reverse into driving, not nose it in. That's her problem, she's gonna have to wait now. There's plenty of space to get a car around, look. You get a car for that, but man, if you're not gonna help yourself, I'm not gonna sort you out. That's why I impress upon people who are learning to drive or driving years, always reverse into your destination. Because then you can always be assured of an exit when you lazily nose it into a space and the front end's swinging around like a drunk fish, you make it a lot more difficult for yourself. Cool, cool, cool. Right, I'll get that one. If you bung your fellows on. Oh, good show. Oh, in that case then, I shall chuck this cheeky fella on. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Interrupt. Greens. Get it behind here so it's not in the street again. That's not my problem, but I'm kind like that. Sit. Oh well. You wanna keep walking? You can do that chucking on thing. Yeah. Oh. Lower please, my man. Right, ready? Here we go. Not brilliant. <laughs> I wonder what the old HSE would have to say about that. Christ almighty. Well, that could have gone better. But we're doing okay. We're making good progress. Why the hell are you on my side of the road? Fool, what a fop. Sort of make you out. Yes. We will be doing a left. Yes. Of course, of course, of course. I'll right, come back, join Makey, get this stuff done. Very good. Mind your back, mind your backs, please. So we need to try to get through that gap, but there's another vehicle. But they weren't willing to try when there was nothing beside me in that previous street. See what I mean? It's the kind of... Oh, Jesus. Foolishness I deal with daily. But it's what happens when you go in the uh, deep, dark, suburban pit. Versus driving up and down the road on a carriageway or a motorway. Alright, it's not my problem, but I might move that green box. Unless this car wants to smash out of the way for us, that'd be good. No, any acknowledgement? Gonna come on my side? Any hint? Not a wave? Nothing? Nothing. Oh, so I met you from earlier. Sodded us about. See if he's gonna hit us again. Come out the pavement. No acknowledgement again. Jesus, what is wrong with people? <laughs> Rather than do anything about it, just keep on driving. It's not my problem. Not my problem. It's boring hearing that all the time. Not my. I'm all right, Jack. As long as I'm sorted. Also, he's just been up and down this street. So he obviously doesn't have a clue what he's doing. He has to drive. He's it's a very inefficient courier, wasting diesel and time. He's already been up this street. You saw that about, what, 15, 20 minutes ago? Draw my one. Hello, Jay. Now coming down. Certainly. I got my one from over here. So I was going up here anyway, so I thought I'd drag the bin for matey. Save him a uh, puffing and puffing unnecessarily. Oh, that's my bin. Huh. So I'll sort it. I'll come back. Oh, we'll get this one then. Whoa! That's what happens when you don't verbally communicate. I did something, hoping that we would both understand, but I didn't, at no point did I actually say what the hell I was doing, so that's my fault. 
I don't mind accepting that one. But what I meant to happen was, leave a bin on the lorry, your bin's waiting down there. You only need to drag one down the street. Hey, it's all cool. Uh, unfurl this a bit, food on top. There we go, so don't blow away. Again, don't have to do that kind of stuff, but oh, how would I want my equipment to be treated? So I've seen it when people kick these across the road and launch them a mile. Not on, man. Not on, dude. See, look, more green box in the road. Stuff there. Drive in. That's what they normally do, and then that's what we shall do today. Again, this is their work. How do you want it done? Uh, if it's a very obvious situation where I can see there's a better way of doing it, I shall, but I've not done bins around here before, so that's how they want it done. Well, I'm making decent progress. The day's going okay. Ooh, um, No, it's directly behind. I seem to remember there's some sort of courtyard -y thing over here, like uh, multiple semi detached houses, like a green grassy area. Mind the box, mind the guy. Yeah, see what I mean? So we'll go far back, we'll do this area. I need to drop this one down, but it's courtesy from the next person that comes up. Yeah. So you excuse the uh, infrequency of my upload schedule. Ideally, I'd like to do one or two episodes of the week, but the last week or two, the places I've been, the work I've been doing, and unfortunately the people I've been doing it with wouldn't have worked. It's not stuff you would have wanted to see. It was a uh, Quite unpleasant last week. Such was the severity of the issue that I said I don't want to do black beans anymore. I've had enough. Put them in recycling. They were dumbfounded. Really? Everyone hates recycling. No one's gone there. It's like, man, I've had enough of black beans. And I did raise an issue, a grievance. Not paperwork, just like a verbal, like, on this particular given vehicle, you've got a serious problem. Yeah, yeah, we know. So, what, are you waiting for a fight to erupt out or something? The extremely short version is there's a lot of bad, there's a bad blood in the team and everyone's upset and angry and uncooperative and slamming doors and punching bins and I said like man this is to like the operations manager as well as the supervisor so this is untenable you can't get people keep people working like this it's either gonna be a fight or someone's gonna walk off like walk and leave the work like, as in walk off the route um so man my guy this ain't working but they wouldn't heed my requests. Well, they have now because I'm on recycling. So this is much better. The uh, harmony in this team is much better. Everyone knows what you, despite what you saw a few minutes ago where I did say about mentioning my words. Um, yeah, so a, everyone's got a shared objective. Let's get this done. And as a result, the work flows so much better. See what I mean? Four bins, five including mine. All full or nearly full. Not terribly optimistic we're gonna squeeze this in we'll give it a try yeah man this is much better um okay, speak to me in a few weeks time we've had rains winds all that kind of stuff but right now today first impressions oh this is so much better than black bins however uh black bins might well finish earlier but got ain't half a slog and they are running their guts out all day Whoop. These fellows are under no pressure from me to go the speed they're going. They want to go that speed. I'll try and maintain that. Say the slowest person the team slows the whole vehicle down. Yeah, team, team, team. And it is very much driver loader, dual purpose role. We have got people in our gaff that resolutely refuse to help and would 
such is the, pr the, state, the uh, extent of the problem. And I've heard stories from loaders, multiple loaders on the same team. Brilliant. Driver will do the whole of one side of a street, spin it on, do the other side of the street, rather than work in one direction. And as the crew are behind and pairing them up or getting them out, he's getting the next one or two ready. He'd rather sit in that seat, take twice as long, and not have to get out. That's not right. That is not how I work. So you only have to look through the previous videos of mine, was it? This is episode 10 now. Um, that's not my work if I can't just sit about all day. I want this done as much as they do. This geezer doesn't have a clue what he's doing, but he will when my back of my vehicle starts hurtling to his front bonnet. Front bonnet as opposed to the rear bonnet. So I mean, not a clue. No, it goes around. Keep driving. Push him up the road if I have to. There we go. Moron. Too busy chatting, not enough concentrating on driving. So wrap the lock on again. Mind the curb. Slowly half, half, half. Van's coming. Well, he had his chance when he was sodding about entering. So I might have to mount the pavement proper now. So this half wick can get past. I don't know how much, I say, he saw me down there. He saw my people walk down here. It, this is the stupidity I'm dealing with. Just people don't think more than six feet ahead of what's happening to them, happening to them. I need to go. Oh, there's a big, huge white vehicle making lots of noise coming towards me. I did see a couple of fellows in high vis a second ago dragging bins about, but it never occurred to me they might be coming down here as well. Well, I'm going to levitate to the bins. So, I mean, he just come from there. Not a clue. Oh, look. Now, this looks pretty bereft of sacks. They might have large, boxy boys to carry. I can certainly see one jutting out his bin. I haven't brought a bin, but we're all good. Yeah, this is me if I'm uh, going a bit of a tirade and moaning on this particular video. Um, it's not even if I'm speaking to any one of you viewers directly. But it's good to just, well, not hold it in, because it'll burn you up. So it's only minor gripes. Hold up. Are you walking, my guy, or are you uh, riding with? Sorry? Are you riding with me? Yes, or you... I am, yes. I shall be up front. Both in my manner and as a practical sense, I shall be at the front. Um, so yeah, it is quite straightforward work for class tours, if you're thinking about getting your license. Would I advise people to pay the money to do it? No. Find someone to put you through it. Oh, so I'll make you again. Mm. It's not good enough that you just come out of here then. Mm. Jesus. Wait, do you know where number one is? Do you? No. Wonderful. Three. That's number three over there. Oh, so it might be over there somewhere. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Most, you not got a number for someone? Yeah, no, yeah, we just got to look, we're looking at a job, like an extension for someone. Oh. But it's, it's quite hard to find. Yeah, <laughs> okay, no. Mate. Welcome to Chelmsford. Awesome. Thank you, my man. I say flummoxed and also I just... That's it. I'm not a taxi driver. No. There you go, there's number one. <coughs> That's all the information he's getting. That's number one. <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's so right here. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Hook a right at the church. I start again here. Yes. Please enjoy. So yeah, if you're looking at doing your class two, CPC, all that business. If you pay out your own pocket, you are your own uh, master of your own destiny. So you dictate where you want to work, how you want to do stuff, this and the other. Whereas if you do it with an employer, ordinarily it's some sort of bond, i.e. we sponsor your training. However, we hold you in chastity for a year, two years. Now, if it's a bad company you've chosen to do that through, that's a long old time to be stuck with, stuck in a job you don't like. That's why I'd say if you can afford it, do it with your own pocket. If not, I don't know. I don't know. Will it 
fit. It should fit. Yeah. Ah. Cool, dude. Yeah. That it does. Often, it seems. Right, with this big, this turning, if you can do that, I'll do the year round. Reasonable exchange. So yeah, two, if you were, if a company employer said, hello, we'll give you an opportunity, we'll put all your training through. It's normally a jolly big old bill as well. Good Lord. Definitely shuttle runs needed. Uh. Excuse me. Yeah, um, that's a long time to be held in, well, held captive. If we don't like it. Bloody hell, how do you make this much mess? Get an extra sack. Yeah, we'll definitely come back to that. We're not going to try and ram that in there. It's a waste of my time. We'll try and see if we get all this in. So, I don't know, maybe it's my bitterness that says I don't recommend it. So many people love class turn. Possibly sing songs. They do proper vlog channels. Not like this pokey old thing where I just talk nonsense all day and put zero effort into editing or any sort of uh, presentation. The camera goes in my head. I hit the button at the top. I talk. I drive. I don't do fancy edits and music and merch and meet and greets. I just cruise about and I show you what I see every day. It's probably the second or third time I mention this video now, but I really don't do this any other sort of pretense of uh, saying nothing as vulgar as monetization. Ugh. Obviously, dollars are helpful, but I'm not going to sell my soul for it. All right. Oh, my good lord. All right. Mm, might not get this all in. We'll try. It's all I can offer, as I can try. But we've certainly got to come back in here for that matey at the top. So yeah, the channel. So, I was cruising about like cars, dogs, some guns as well, if you look back far enough, when I went to Kiev, Ukraine, 2017. Chernobyl. Um, yeah, just trucks, cars, exhausts, stuff I like, because I try, well, I get, no, 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 no. I try to film what I would enjoy watching. So for instance, if you look at some of my exhaust videos, I try and do it in such a location with a decent-ish angle that it clearly conveys the noise of the motor. Um, yeah, two sacks, all that mess. I reckon it's gonna be a three runner. Um, yeah, so stuff I put on YouTube, i.e. what you're watching right now. Uh, I don't get involved in like the mental health conversation or influence uh, or anything like that. So I've just got a pokey channel at time of recording. I think I had 960 subscribers. Thank you to you all, especially if you for some reason keep watching this shit. Um, I, I, I'm very thankful for it. Um, I appreciate it that what I do is enjoyed by others. That's why I try to convey this in a manner that I would want to watch it. I say, I ain't got any fancy audio or crazy cameras, it's just a GoPro that I got off eBay, an accessory kit off Amazon, and that's it. Um, as wonderful as it would be to have a fancy DSLR and external audio, digital audio recordings and all this manner of stuff, and a super duper pretty video editing software, that's not my bag, and also it's Say diminishing returns because it would mean better content it would mean a, an intro and music and clickable video links and all that kind of business but that's just that's not me that's not my character so it's gonna have to be this kind of uh, uh, so I'm lost words I'm trying I'm trying to think of something to say <sighs> content I can think of a better word than that just this mess and I'm done. Quite a lot. I'll try and ram as much as I can, but I'll definitely have to come back for this. I'm not playing Tetris, getting this all in one hit. Come on. One or two more bits. Ah, oh, let's call it, let's call it. Let's go get more. Empty, empty, empty. It's again, this is the problem. Driver over in one bin. I'm lucky I've got a bin at all. Much less take one of these, gentlemen. So, uh, when I'm done with this, that is a naughty corner. 
so we'll spin it in that car park over there. I, I did nod my head. There's like a car park -y yard thing there. And if like the church has a car park, I can uh, spin it in as well. To reverse on that blind corner, I'll be reluctant to do it in a motor car. Much less this wheezy beast. Place that's wasted but i commend these people and thank these people at number six or whatever this street is for recycling this much i say the amount of bins i did every day oh, bloody those bins heavy you lift the lid the first thing i see tins cardboard paper jars oh, it's free the recycling is absolutely free there is no limit to the recyclables you can put out we actively encourage you well it's not I can't say I've seen it in print, so I'll reiterate that. I encourage local residents to ring up and get an extra sack, an extra box, because it means less stuff going in black bins and subsequently land landfill. More's the better. Right, is that done? Oh, weave it there. See, look, look how conscientious I am. Look how keen a worker I am. I'm check, check, checking. Many people being done. Wee, they're gone. That's just how I, that's my work ethic. I try, try, try to reflect on something I said earlier. How would I want it done? If that was my gaff and I diligently separate all my cycling, how would I want it to be taken away? I want it all to be taken away. So we'll do a shake. Shakey, shakey, shakey. Compacting, look at that. Good heavens. Right, once this has gone up, we'll do another crush to clear the hopper in anticipation of uh, whew, what they've got going on shortly. There we go. So whilst that's doing that, still compacting, hydraulics, PTO, noise, noise, noise. Let's have a look at the weight. We've been going since 7 a.m. We have a dizzying. So 17 tonne gross vehicle weight. And I'll zoom right in so you can see that. So 17, 17, 17763. The vehicle gross weight that it can be legally is 26 tonne. The vehicle starts off empty at 13, 8 or 14 tonne. Oh, so there's very, uh, some specifics. Rever nose left, reverse right. It's gonna be a shunt or two, but I've dealt with much worse. Yeah. So we've only got about two, three tonne of waste aboard in four, uh, four and a half hours of loading. But space, volume, it does crush down. I say the blade is not even remotely visible yet, whereas on a black bin lorry, you'd have been fit full up a while ago. So checking the camera, curb, camera, car bit more bit more look at that appearing 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 that's enough i could go back further but there's no need so wrap the left lock on full throttle oh for goodness sake it's constant it's not the bloody m1 round here i'm not reversing again i've had enough now thank you girl all day long people just get in my way i just want to do a job and get it done people sodding me about there we go as i was saying this is about Three ton on board. Let the old girl go. Don't want to give her the spooks. There we go. Program that. Um, so I'll zoom, 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 zoom. Get away. Matey, camera, mirror. So watch the mirror. Rear axle now. Loading there. Bit more. I'll help him. That's overflowing. That's making messy, messy boys. Oh, look at this debris on the floor. What time we got? So 10 to 12. Got you, my G. Are you right with that one? Yes. Yeah. Of course. Oh, still stuff on the floor. <laughs> Heavens. Give it a dragaroo. Check in, check in, check in. Good, I'm not gonna die today. I'm not immediately anyway. Again, look, all this mess, but at least they're separating it. Uh, get in there. Right, I'll let mate you go first. Mountain pavement, brilliant. I insist, my man. Thank you, though. Yeah, I don't trust like that. I'd rather take a few seconds to let someone get the hell out of my way than risk confusion or... There we go. Get in my way. The DPD geezer. 
Bless your soul, nice fella. He recognised I was doing sink. Uh, but this is what I much I said on the way up. Keep looking up the side of the vehicle. Because many people, many other people wouldn't have gone that speed. Right, I would say that's a suitable video, video length. I think it's about an hour long now, plus the 20 odd minutes this morning. So I bid you adieu, adieu to you and you. To, uh, to quote or paraphrase two comedians from the 70s. So goodbye from me and a goodbye from him. Like, comment, subscribe and share. Thank you all for your viewership, subscriptions, comments, praise, what have you. See you again soon. Have a good day. Keep it safe and fun. Cheerio.